Hello friends, today I want to show you how to easily and quickly remove sensor dust spots from your macro photos uh, without actually cleaning your sensor. Of course you should uh, clean your sensor uh, first and foremost, but sometimes we don't have time for that and sometimes we don't have uh, the proper swabs at home and we go out and take macro photos. And since the numerical aperture in macro photography is very small and since we shoot at small apertures and since sensor dust shows more readily on small apertures, we tend to get these very pronounced sensor dust spots uh, when we do macro photography if the sensor is not completely clean. Uh, so I'm gonna show you now very quickly how to get rid of it uh, in Lightroom. So what I do is I pick one photo where the sensor dust is the most visible and uh, usually a bright photo like this one is a good candidate because then uh, you can see it more easily. So let's pick this bright nice photo and then we go to the uh, the spot removal tool and uh, now it's still kind of hard to see the spots on this uh, very photo but we can uh, activate this visualize spots and now it is much easier to see the spots and uh, yeah then I simply make sure that the size of this brush is uh, about right for my spots maybe something like that and I put in a bit of feather uh, you don't want too much and I don't want too little, something like that maybe. And then I just uh, go over all the uh, spots, at least the uh, most pronounced ones. And the reason we want to pick a bright photo for this without too many dark elements is that otherwise the dark spots will be covered up in the dark elements of the photo and I will show you soon why you don't want that uh, because we are actually going to reuse this uh, healing pattern that I'm creating here. Um, let me just do something like that. Okay. And now I uncheck this and most of the sensor dust should be gone and yeah it looks a lot better. I could be a lot more thorough of course but I don't want to bore you guys. So we fixed this photo uh, but let's have a look at some other photos. We, of course we have the same sensor dust on all the photos and uh, if we browse here we can see that it obviously uh, sits in the exact same place on every photo. Uh, but on the vertical photos, uh, of course, it is flipped a bit. So, I mean, these two dots here, they would uh, show up um, at the top here uh, because the sensor is simply turned. Now for the magic trick. This is the photo that I fixed. And then I do uh, Command Shift C to copy settings. And I uncheck all of them and then I only check spot removal and this copies my spot removals from this photo then I mark all the photos that I've imported and I do uh, develop settings paste settings and now my dust removal uh, uh, brushing will be applied to every photo in the whole series I can see now that I forgot or I missed a spot here but uh, otherwise you can see that the spots are gone and when I have a lot of sensor dust and I come home from a photo walk and uh, realize that this is uh, what I always do first, what you have seen in this video. I fix one photo, one of the brightest, I copy those fixes to all the photos and then I can very comfortably uh, continue with editing all the photos uh, with all the spots gone. And it's uh, especially useful if you're doing focus stacking because all the spots will be uh, duplicated and multiplied when you do focus stacking if you don't remove them first. So that's a quick tip for me. See you very soon again.